Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So this time we are going to make the Z spring, also called as double cantilever, which is used in ortho treatments. So first we will take 5 to 6 cm 23 gauge stainless steel wire and make it straight. So in this video we are going to make the Z spring on maxillary left central incisor. So first we will make a small tag at the corner of the wire. Make it as small as you could. This will form the active armor for Z spring. So keep the active arm on the central incisor. The tag should face towards the mesial side. And here we will do the marking for the helix. It should not exceed beyond the dimensions of the tooth. So hold the wire tightly at the tip of the Adam's plier. And here we are making the helix. The helix should be above the active arm. You can see here in the figure. Just give one complete turn and bring the wire parallel to the active arm. So in this way it should look. So again we will do the marking exact below the uh, tag for the second helix. So this time the turn should be downwards below the active arm. You can see in the figure. Hold the wire at the tip of the plier and try to give as small as possible the helix. So here we will do some minor corrections and try to make it in the plane. Make the arms parallel to each other. So you can check here how it is looking. So after this at the middle of the mesiodistal width of the tooth, give a 90 degree bend. The bend should be in the same plane. And then again give another bend downwards just 2-3 mm ahead and then make the retentive arm sloping so we'll check it on the cast make sure that the above portion is in the plane with the occlusion occlusal plane And you can see here there is a gap. The gap is necessary. It should not touch the rugas and all. So after this make a small tag at the end of the wire. So in this way we can see here our Z spring is ready. So thank you everyone for watching this video. 
so don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and also you can share it with your batchmates also you can give me suggestions means on which part you want the videos so thank you again for watching